shaking me up here. It hasn't always been easy to take care of a 225 ton lady. That's it, watch your step now. But after 138 years, Liberty is still looking good and attracts millions of tourists. I'm inside the Statue of Liberty right now. Like somebody wake me up from this dream. She's become a Hollywood superstar. The Statue of Liberty is so beloved, there are replicas of her scattered across the planet, from Norway to China, from Pakistan to Vietnam. And she comes in all shapes and colors. Spain has a touchdown, Liberty. Touchdown, it's over! But what most people don't know is the statue gracing the New York Harbor is not the first. Well, I hope you don't expect me to save you. Two decades before the statue came to America, Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, a French sculptor, designed another giant female holding a torch and tried to sell the idea to Egypt. After all, Egyptians love big things. But his statue was rejected, so Bartholdi had to come up with a new plan. The French artist gave Liberty a makeover and turned his attention west. The first Statue of Liberty to cross the Atlantic Ocean was much smaller. For two years, this pint-sized statue was wheeled around the halls of Congress, hoping to sell Bartholdi's colossal dream. Today, the original Statue of Liberty is in the Smithsonian American Art Museum. And unlike its big sister in New York, it doesn't get much attention. It's practically invisible. The Statue of Liberty the American symbol of freedom. Just to visit the famous statue in New York, you have to buy a ticket, wait in a long line, and cross a body of water. And there's a chance your ticket might be a scam. 14 suspected scammers arrested after a police raid today. The statue in Washington, the one actually carved by Bartholdi's own hands, has no lines, and it's completely free. I'm gonna pop down and give you guys the best angle with Lady Liberty. Here we go. Apparently when it comes to statues, size does matter, but fame comes at a cost. Throughout its history, the New York Statue of Liberty has become one of Hollywood's biggest targets. Damn you all to hell! And has been destroyed several times. The only danger the DC statue faces is being accidentally knocked over. 